Chapter 2 Setting Up a Teamwork Project In this chapter we will learn about the basics of setting up a shared teamwork project, including sharing the project, plus defining global users and roles. We will mainly work with the BIM Server Manager application, as this is the place where these server administration tasks are performed. Step 1. Setting up the Graphisoft BIM Server In this step, we will learn how to install the Graphisoft BIM Server on your computer. We will also discover all the details about how to set up and configure the BIM Server, providing a safe and solid teamwork environment for all the members of the extended design team. Please note that you need to set up and configure the BIM Server only once, and you'll be ready to share as many design projects as you wish. Insert the Graphisoft ArchiCAD installation DVD to the DVD drive of your computer. Run the BIM Server installer by clicking the Install Graphisoft BIM Server button on the main page of the Install menu. If you have downloaded Graphisoft ArchiCAD from the Internet, please select the Install Graphisoft BIM Server option from the installer. The welcome page of the Graphisoft BIM Server installer wizard will be displayed on the screen. Click on Next to proceed. Select the I Accept radio button to accept the license agreement and click Next to continue. In the next page, you can specify which folder the BIM server should be installed in on your machine. Please note that the BIM server can be installed on any workstation computer which is part of the local network. In larger offices, however, it is recommended to run the BIM server on a dedicated server computer to provide fast and safe access to all team members on every shared teamwork project. The installation folder is the folder into which ArchiCAD has been installed. The application folder is the folder within the ArchiCAD folder into which the BIM server application will be installed. On Windows, only the install folder needs to be specified here. On Windows, Define the program folder into which shortcuts will be generated within the Start menu. After setting the desired folders, click Next to continue. Click the Install button at the Summary page to start the installation process. The BIM server will be installed within a minute or so. Depending on the operating system of the computer, you might need to confirm the administrative privileges in order to proceed. You don't need to be an IT expert to configure the BIM server, since the default suggested settings will work fine for most networks. The first step of the BIM server configuration is to identify the BIM server on the network. For this, we need to provide a unique network name for the server. This is especially important if there are more than one BIM servers running on one network. Select the Use Computer's Name radio button that displays your local computer's name and click Next. The next step is that you need to select a folder where the project database will be stored. Click the Next button to proceed. The next page displays information where libraries will be stored in the server. Click the Next button to proceed. The next step is to create an administrator account. The BIM Server Administrator can manage the BIM Server and has the right to create new projects and add or modify users and their roles. In our case, the lead architect of the architect's team will be the BIM Server Administrator. Let's fill out all the fields as displayed on the screen. We will define the username as the full name of the lead architect without spaces, and set the password to be the same as the username, only all in lowercase letters. Please note that this information is case sensitive. Also, please note that the email address you specify here should be a valid email address, since this will be used to reset a forgotten password if necessary. Click the Next button when you're ready to proceed. The next step is to set up the so-called Startup and Port options. 
ARCACAD teamwork uses advanced technology to communicate through the Internet. You may not need to modify the TCP IP protocol settings which define the ports used by a specific application to communicate through the network. It is recommended to contact your IT network administrator for further help regarding the appropriate ports. You can click the Modify button to open the Port Setting dialog. As you can see, there are four ports used. ARCHICAD sets them to certain values as the default, and normally you do not need to modify these. These ports are used for the various components of the Teamwork solution for communication between the BIM server and the ARCHICAD workstations. You might need to confirm your administrative privileges in order to alter these port settings. Click the right pointing arrow button to the right of any of the port numbers and notice the Find a Free Port item on the pop-up list. This is the command you can use if for some reason the port is not free because it is being used by another program. In most cases, the default settings will work just fine. Let's click the Cancel button for now and leave this dialog without changing anything. Make sure to check the Start BIM Server with Operating System checkbox to start the BIM Server as the operating system starts. We will need the BIM Server to run continuously as we complete the chapters of this interactive training guide. Click Next to proceed. The next step is to set up the mail server used for internal and external communication between the members of the design team. The SMTP mail server is used to send emails. Please make sure to provide valid settings since this is also used to send emails and to recover lost or forgotten passwords. Please refer to the settings used by your email application or contact your IT administrator for the appropriate SMTP server settings. Here you can see the appropriate SMTP server settings of a Gmail account as an example. This information can also be found online at the settings page of your Gmail account. When you are ready with the settings, please click Next to proceed. As you can see, the BIM server configuration is complete. The server is ready for startup. Click the Finish button to complete the BIM server configuration. Depending on the operating system of the computer, you might need to confirm the administrative privileges in order to proceed. You can also create a BIM Server Control Center desktop and quick launch shortcuts on Microsoft Windows operating systems, as well as desktop shortcuts and dock icon on Apple Macintosh operating systems. We recommend creating quick launch or dock icons since these will provide useful information on the status of the BIM server. Click Next to proceed. Finally, click the Finish button on the next page of the installer to complete the installation of Graphisoft BIM Server. When the BIM Server starts up, its icon will be displayed in the Windows Taskbar or in the Macintosh menu bar. This icon displays the state of the BIM Server by color. Green means that the BIM Server is running. Red means that the BIM Server has been stopped or is not running yet. Hover your cursor over the BIM Server icon to see basic data about the BIM Server, including status, name, IP address, and so on. We now have a BIM server installed and running with all the necessary configurations. Let's now share an ARCHICAD design project with the help of the BIM server. Click Exit on the ARCHICAD 14 installer front end to close it. 